check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boys. Sound right, boy. sound right boy check the mic and make sure it sound right boy Sound right, boys. Sound right, boy.
sound right, boy. Hey everyone, uh, just uh, get you caught up here. I know I'm sort of skipping ahead a little bit, but uh, so today we got the eyeball alignment job done. It's just where you put two pieces of flat stock on each of the uh, brake rotors and then measure the difference between the two. In this case, they were 58 uh, and 5 eighths inch on the back and 58 and a quarter on the front. So you split the difference and then you give it just a little bit of toe in. It's supposed to be like one degree or something. I can't remember the exact numbers, but um, this is good enough definitely to get to an alignment shop. It's within uh, about a 32nd of an inch, which probably is tantamount to about half a degree. Um, it'll drive funny anyways until we get it properly aligned, but that's pretty good. Uh, I got the relay done. Um, just gonna step up here and put myself in grave danger trying to show you all this. Ugh. Okay, so there's the relay done there. Um, it's not finished, obviously. It needs to be tidied up in that, but that's the fuel pump relay, which is down here. Got the fuel line plumbed into it. And then again, here's all the alignment stuff we've been farting around with and the brake switch there. Um, I just quickly redid those because they were they were falling apart too. So all in all, we're in pretty good shape. So the front wheels on. Um, they're obviously not done. I'm just putting them on just to see how the car sits. So. I'll do the back and it all buttoned up, get the brakes all done there, and then we'll put it on the ground and see how it looks. It might be a little, I don't know. I'm hoping it's not too, too nose down. Um, just a little less than flat would be good if I could have the front just a bit. Hang on, I'm just gonna, busy gonna kill myself here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, if I can get it just sing it just a little bit down, that'd be better, I think, in the front. Um, and just get you caught up in the back here. It's just a matter of, um, Putting these emergency brake lines in. Sorry, that's not them, they're over here. Uh, back there, there, my mistake. Um, that's the throttle cable, so that's got its own little thing I have to do with it. Where are we here? Um, I got the carbs seated, they're all in here. These bolts are super tough to get to, and same with these ones down here. They're, um, I don't know, the studs that are in there aren't long enough. They should really be a bit longer. I think if it's a problem, I might pull those out and put longer studs in and just that way um, there's a little more thread being absorbed. I've got this to do right here. The, um, the two power connections, one goes to the starter, one goes to the rest of the car for its electrical system. Um, other than that, I think we're in good shape. I got the other coil plug here, which is the one that's gonna trigger the uh, fuel pump. So uh, that's all hooked up. Just a matter of running the power to the fuel pump now from the actual battery and putting an inline fuse in. Uh, then we're pretty good. I'm gonna test it, dry test it, and then run the rest of the fuel lines in and some breeder lines or whatever, uh, whatever else. So all in all, pretty good. Got lots done. Uh, I know I'm just kind of skipping ahead and missing a bunch of stuff, but uh, I just simply don't have the time I'd like to to put out proper videos. Uh, I wanna get this all done in four videos, maybe three. Get it driving next video, hopefully. Um, I'm putting a charge in this battery here, see if it works. It says it's 75%, I don't know. We'll see if it works or not. Um, yeah, and then we'll get her going, hopefully. And maybe I can road test it in about uh, two or three days, uh, weather permitting and of course, barring if I have any uh, unforeseen problems with um, uh, little things here and there. I already have a couple little things I have to do, a couple of electrical bits. I seem to be just getting handed by uh, little electrical bits, like these things here. They don't fit. They're all the wrong part, so I gotta get new ones. And I just, uh, it's just little onesie twosies. It's, this thing's burdened with little $3 problems, it seems. Anyways, that's where we're at today. So we'll get the back brakes all buttoned up and we'll get it sitting on the wheels. And then we'll fire up that fuel pump and that's pretty much it. That's, then we're uh, good to go. And hopefully we'll be driving it. Oh, I gotta put the, shift, the gear shift in too. We got this super slick, um, hang on here. Heritage Speed, I think it is. It's a pretty trick little shifter. It's kind of this cool color. It's got an old retro knob on it. Um, it's really a neat little shifter. So that's gonna go into 
for anybody, anybody out there who's driven a Beetle, you know that the gear shift is uh, much like a Porsche actually, um, is just like a, a stick in a bucket of chili or something. It's gross. So uh, hopefully that'll tighten things up and uh, we'll get nice smooth shifts out of it. Anyways, enough talking. We'll be getting back at her. Thanks guys.